Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, April the 27th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we've got a messy situation ahead of us. There's a look at radar first thing this morning and certainly have a number of thunderstorms over in the vicinity of Memphis. But across central Alabama, uh, we're looking pretty nice. It's cloudy across much of the northern half of the state, and you can see that from the sky cam at Mount Cheeha. But it's very nice down in the south part of the state. There's a look at the Dauphin Island sky cam. So just a beautiful sunrise shot this morning. The messy pattern is coming about primarily due to an upper-level uh, storm system over the Central Plains. We can certainly see that on the upper air chart and uh, overlaid on the water vapor imagery, and uh, that producing some storm, um, severe storm watches out over Oklahoma last night and into the early morning hours this morning. At the surface, we're dealing with a little bit of a messy pattern with uh, kind of a surface uh, low in the vicinity of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Temperatures across the country actually pretty nice this morning as we see only just a few 32 degree readings, a few freezing readings, and uh, certainly no freezing readings around the southeastern U.S. And as a matter of fact, for central Alabama, we're ranging from about the um, upper 50s into the lower 60s for morning temperatures this morning. So it is very, very nice. Looking at the overall um, radar chart uh, for the uh, Southeastern U.S., kind of the composite here, you can see that much of the rain is across Tennessee and Arkansas, and it looks like it's going to stay there, especially north of I-20 for much of the day today. We could see a few isolated showers uh, further to the south, but I think for the most part the rain stays off uh, to, our, uh, to the north of the Birmingham area. QPF-wise, uh, over the next five days, and that's coming primarily through um, early Monday, looks like Monday and Tuesday should be dry, and then we get another risk uh, coming uh, Wednesday and into the latter part of the week, but it looks like for the five days anyway, and this goes through Thursday morning, that uh, the bulk of that will come uh, this weekend. Storm Prediction Center for day one, outlooking a slight risk of severe weather uh, down in the Rio Grande Valley, as well as in an area covering southeast Arkansas, the northern third of Mississippi, a little bit of the corner of northwest Alabama, and part of West Tennessee. Looks like that uh, threat is primarily for damaging wind and large hail. However, um, it also looks like it's somewhat marginal. A uh, little bit more marginal outlook on day two as the sea text areas are noted down there in the vicinity of Houston and down across southwest Alabama and the southern half of Mississippi. Day three, no organized severe thunderstorms are forecast uh, and uh, certainly looks like we uh, will probably dry out a little bit on Monday. 06 e GFS model run this morning, and uh, there's our surface pattern for today, and you can see the GFS at 18Z or 1 p.m., pretty much keeping everything to our north. The upper uh, low comes across, the uh, trough comes across the Mississippi River Valley on Sunday, and so I think our best day for and our best shot at rain is going to come primarily on Monday, but once again, the showery nature of things, it's not going to be an all-day kind of rain. And, uh, you know, some of the, the Cape values are, are fairly good, but uh, I think the threat for severe weather is somewhat marginal. That trough moves on to the East Coast on Monday, so I think, again, we, we should dry out somewhat, and the GFS uh, painting that pretty well for uh, Monday. I think we stay dry on Tuesday. However, uh, we're watching that little bit of a uh, vorticity center down over Houston area, uh, and... Uh, that uh, combined with a surface warm front, which may begin to come back north, we might have to introduce a chance for showers back on Tuesday, but for now I'm going to say Tuesday is going to stay dry. Uh, that vorticity area moves uh, further north on Wednesday, so I think once again we have to introduce a chance of showers on Wednesday, uh, although the GFS suggesting pretty uh, widespread, and I'm not sure it's going to be quite that widespread. Of course, we are watching that next system, and the next system dives in on Thursday. And this system, if the GFS is right, this system is going to prove to bring winter back at the 1st of May. 
There's uh, the upper air pattern uh, with the trough coming into the vicinity of about Kansas City. And, of course, uh, with that, a surface low somewhere over the mid-Mississippi River Valley and, uh, you know, a frontal system stretching back into the coastal area of Texas. Now, this is where things begin to get a little marginal in terms of, uh, especially in terms of consistency as well as differences in the models. The uh, GFS closes off a humongous closed low, you know, over uh, southern Missouri, northern Arkansas. Now, that's probably right in terms of at least closing it off. And, of course, that brings the surface low up into Kentucky, and we should see uh, probably rain uh, during the day on Friday. But notice how chilly that is. Look at the 540 thickness line coming down into uh, extreme west central Mississippi. So this is a cold core system. And uh, just to give you an idea, uh, the uh, European is much slower with everything uh, on this. Now the European also closes off a closed low in the upper air pattern. However, it closes it off almost an entire state to the west. So very big model differences. By Saturday, a week from today, the GFS showing that closed low in the vicinity of uh, Paducah and Cape Girardeau and Dyersburg, Tennessee. And so uh, that is an extremely uh, cold looking pattern. Uh, and the question is going to be, I mean, look at that. Uh, look at the 540 line down, uh, you know, all the way down uh, to Meridian and uh, places like uh, maybe Alexander City. So, I mean, we're talking about some pretty cold. This, this could actually maybe verge on some pretty uh, record near record temperatures. But as I say, there's the big problem. Here's the European at 500 millibars, and you notice where it is. It's not centered, you know, over the southeastern U.S. or over Tennessee. It is, uh, it is actually, you know, a, a whole state. It's back to the west of Arkansas. So very big model differences that we're dealing with uh, that far out. Now, going out even further into uh, voodoo country, the GFS, and I had to drop back one model run to be able to get the charts for this, but uh, the GFS for the 7th of May is still showing at that uh, very deep low over and trough over the eastern half of the country. So it looks like May could start on a very chilly note. And then we finally, uh, we actually go into a bit of a, a weak ridge before we get another trough that uh, impacts us around the 12th. So it looks like uh, temperature-wise, we're, we're certainly going to be dealing with some challenges in the weather office. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, be sure to check back on the blog for the latest uh, updates on what is transpiring. In the meantime, hope your day is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>